All right, so I've always wanted to do this. I, I've wa always wanted to explain, because I usually take videos, right? A theme in a video, and I try to, like, or something, like, any type of video, and try to, like, like, oh, here's something that could be looked at that's I don't think is usually looked at. Regardless, mostly politics, but it could be any type of thing. Movies, whatever. Could be anything. And I've always wanted to just make a video talking about my perspective on these psychological, philosophical, social, uh, spiritual concepts. And what's up, Amblum? What I'm going to do today, tonight on Yelbro Dark, the theme I'm going to go with is the shadow. Now, this is a term that's been recognized in definitely psychology, right? Jungian psychology. Definitely spirituality, you know, philosophy, metaphysics. It's been represented. Not so much on the societal scale, right? A lot of times you'll see people try to explain society's behavior using that concept. That... Less so. Less so you see that. Less so. And so I'm, I'm going to attempt to make it more so. That makes sense. You know, I'm going to try to sort of bridge, bridge the gap. So first let's start off with my idea of what the shadow is. Now, my sense of all of of the the metaphysical concepts that I talk about, they're not strictly psychological or philosoph they're philosophical or spiritual or, or anything. It's all of it. My like how I look at it. What's up, Chuckles? That's how I look at it. They're like there there is nothing left behind because then what's the point of it if it doesn't touch all aspects of someone? So on a metaphorical scale, I look at the shadow as, I think I made a video saying this before, but I'm going to say it again. The shadow is like a, it's a dark, dark factory with no lights on, but for some reason you know there's stuff in there. There's, there's boxes, there's shit, there's shit in there. And the shadow is the thing that contains all the things you like and dislike about yourself. A lot of people usually stick with the dislike part, right? You'll hear, you'll hear a lot of people say, you got to do your shadow work. You got to do your shadow work. And they'll say that in the sense of the shadow is full of dark, scary, bad things about you that you hide about yourself. Because if it was good, you'd, lo you'd love it. That's not the case, not at least in my understanding of the shadow or understanding of at least my own mind. Right? Say I could say that at least. Uh, right? Things you don't even know you like about yourself. Guess what? The things you don't like about yourself that are also in the shadow is like sometimes those things turn into the things you do like about yourself. You'll see this a lot with people coming out of the closet, right? If there's some sort of social taboo that they're that they have to hide from the world and they end up hiding it from themselves and then it becomes you know buried in the shadow somewhere in that dark factory. Like, oh, once they turn that flashlight on, the ego. Ego has, like, it's that little flashlight, and it's walking around this giant fucking dark, no lights on factory. And then you learn to look through each little box, one by one, this giant fucking factory. You open the box up, and you go through all the little intricate details of the thing. It's, that is, that's shadow work. It doesn't have to be something negative about yourself or something positive about yourself. Or, you know, from your own perspective, at least. It's just things about you that you push to the side. And then you forget that you pushed it to the side, right? You just keep moving on with life and you push it to the side somewhere. Those are the things that are lying in the shadow. And it's up to 
the ego to observe and investigate, and your other faculties to work in tandem with that ego to decide, oh, I don't like this. I don't like, like, I can't get rid of this thing. I did this. I, this experience, this thing I consider horrible that I don't like about myself, I did this. So I can't just burn it down and throw it away. No, I need to remember that I did this. Observe it. Turn it into something else to where it's like, it's not, it's, a, it's, it's me, but it's not me. If that makes sense. And you can understand that by going through each little detail of it. To where, if you have something to where uh, the ego is blinded, right? The flashlight, the batteries run out. Like if you're in a physical, physically stressing situation. Uh, it, usually something traumatic or something to where all these faculty, like there's, there's so much stimuli being thrown at the ego to where it can't like compute really. Or you could be just, you could just be dead tired, really, really sleepy. You could be injured, seriously fucking injured. To where it's almost like the ego's just, oh, it's like not even there. Seemingly. But you've already felt the weight of this, the boxes. You know what it looks like, or not what it looks like, but what it feels like, what it smells like. Pause, I think. You've already memorized all of it to where even when you're in a blind situation, you're still carrying those things with you. Uh, so that when you are in so much pain that your ego's just like, it wants to zone out, right? There's some aspect of you stopping you from maybe doing something against, you know, doing something that you wouldn't like about yourself in a, in a moment. Or if you're sleepy. Or if you're really, 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 really hungry. Or something, some sort of event happens in front of you. Right? If, uh... Oh, this, is, this will get a little dark, but uh, if you have some sort of concept, some sort of principle that's like absolutely against killing, right? Of purposely killing in any regard. Like, oh, when someone's running at you, you know, NFL 20 miles an hour at you with a fucking machete, like, oh, you can. Those things kind of calculate, can calculate very fast because you did that shadow work. Where it's like, this is what I, this is who I am. This is what I like about myself. This is not what I like, right? You, you kind of separate it to make it like, it's not really me, but it's a part of me. But it's not really me. You're saying, this is what I like about myself and this is what I don't like, period. To where maybe. Even if you're in a stressful situation, you could still maintain, hold form, keep shape in those stressing moments. That's the absolute importance of shadow work. My God, is it needed. Uh, and, and that's what I'm going to... What's up, Cannabis? That's what I'm going to translate into... Not translate, but I'm going to try to bridge that gap. See that? Like... What I just laid out right there, that importance, trying to bridge that to the political realm. And the reason why I'm going with the political realm is because it's, it's kind of obvious, right? The society uh, right, really gets up in arms about politics. And then you can, if you step back, if you're philosophically minded, you could step back and see, oh, this is like an underlying story about morality about good and evil, right? Even the, the reasons people choose teams in the political realm seems to be about the efficiency to do the most good for people. Unless you're, you know, if you're in creepy land, that's a little different, but, you know, on the surface, it seems like that seems to be people's motives. Uh, but how do you know, <laughs> how do you actually know that you're actually, well, like, why you're into this. 
why you're doing this. Like to really know that requires the shadow work. How about to recognize if someone possibly I'm so I'm throwing this out there theoretically. How could I recognize if someone else might be full of shit? Shadow work. Guess what? You can ask those dark questions because you asked yourself already. Uh, there's, I'm telling you, this core aspect, uh, the, the core human question is the thing that if you really dig deep and really put yourself on the table for yourself, right? You don't have to do it for anyone. No gurus, no priests, no parents. It's on you, for you. When you look at those questions and stare them in the fucking eyes, really answer them honestly, and if you don't find an answer, you keep digging until you do get one, this, this politics shit is kind of simple, in my opinion. It's pretty simple. Uh, and and it, I think it goes a long way in regards to finding solutions for these things. You understand that you would, it might be able to help you understand the core problem of why this is happening this way or that way. Or we're like, hey, how do these, how can people keep choosing this asshole over and over, like every year? Yeah, is a different name, but it seems like the same asshole over and over again. How does this keep happening? How can we get, keep getting tricked by these guys that give us a new promise Every, every time. Shadow work would be like, well, like, are we, <laughs> are we willing to do the work to just nip it in the bud rather than, you know, I'll, I'll take it this, I mean, let's go with this. Let's see if this works. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try this then. This doesn't work. Let's try this then. Instead of like, okay, stop everything. Let's figure this out, which means you sit, you, you go into the factory of politics, really look at things, you piece it together, try to weigh it, try to does it have a smell. It, how, how, how many angles can I examine this thing? <laughs> like trying to look at all the possible details in order to be like, I will never be fucking tricked again. The shadow work allows you to cover the things that aren't even in fruition already. Right? It's like, uh, like I said, if you have some notion of just never killing under any circumstance, you actually built that fucking, it's solid gold built fucking structure that will never come down. You've built that principle in your own mind and heart and soul and all that, I would already be in the soul. But anyway, let's say you built all that. Uh, fuck, I forgot where I was going to go. I was, on, I was on such a good roll, too. <laughs> right? You build all of that. Fuck, I keep forgetting what I was going to say. <laughs> well... It kind of, I would say, if you build those, that principle, that immovable principle, you can already address scenarios that haven't happened yet. Because whether it's some guy running at you with a machete, some guy firing rounds off at you, some guy that looks threatening, or gal, an ant about to crawl under your foot and you catch it at the last moment. You notice it. Whatever it is, like you already did the work. That means you're already that scenario. It doesn't matter uh, the material reality of things. Like the principle's already sown in fucking, it's solid fucking gold. It's not moving. It's already there. I will not purposely kill. Since we live in an infinite universe, infinite scenarios can happen, but this thing is already built. It's already done. The decision's already made. That means it's kind of like you're living in the future. 
kind of weird. What if there's other principles that you can do that with? Where it's like, shit, it's like you're already in the fucking future. Bear with me, that's a very, uh, very woo-woo. What's up, Shadow? What's up, Frank? Franko? <laughs> so, yeah, the shadow work is super duper 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 important. You could just take that little whatever metaphor and tie it into political principles, even though I would hope your principles are much deeper than the political ones, right? I would hope that something like Medicare for All digs at something way way deeper of a concept than the you know, the political narrative or even the policy. Like the policy should be an outshoot of this core principle you have in your heart somewhere. And the idea of not moving from that, from that core principle, I think it allows you to even be able to recognize it in others. To say like, oh, okay, this person flinched. I saw him flinch. Or I think this person's going to flinch. I saw him flinch over here on this other thing. <laughs> What's up, Allie? These, these things are... So, yeah, I think I, I did pretty all right with that. I think I did okay. Did my ramble. So, there you go. That, this is my first video of this kind to where I try to lay out exactly what I'm like, not exactly what I mean, but the best I can with what I mean by particular concepts and why I view them as important and then try to bridge the gap to where it's not just, okay, philosophy time, 30 minutes later, okay, psychology time, 30 minutes later, okay, let's look at some politics. Like, no, they're all intertwined. As you can see, I try my best to mend them all together. But uh, there's a point. All right. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, share, subscribe. No, wait. Share, support, and donate to all the links in the description box. Do it. Flex those charity muscles. Do it. And also, give this video a thumbs down. Ah, I can't hit unrecord. <laughs>